Hello, it's numerologist Glennis McCants. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I do a newsletter and I always let you know when I'm going to do a YouTube live. It's an opportunity for you to get some answers to your questions. And then I have my wonderful assistant slash Vanessa Phenomenon. Uh, she helps me pick a couple live people for today. So if you're interested in that and you're computer savvy, it's got to be someone who can handle the audio and video so that we can do a live reading that way as well. Um, I'm just going to have her pop in to say hi. Vanessa, you're on. Just say hi. Hi, everyone. Um, I do want to remind everybody that when you ask a question, Glennis is a numerologist. So you do need to put your birthday every single time. That's right. <laughs> so questions like, hey, does this work for me? My house number is this, or I'm moving here, and yet you don't give us any information about your full date of birth. She's a numerologist, people. Let's get yeah, that we'll be able to do it. So and <laughs> and it would be silly if I did, right? Because then we're playing the guessing game. Don't want to do that. So it's true. The tool is obviously we usually have your name here. Uh right away and then your date of birth. And then Vanessa, again, she's going to let you know if you can be on today. Um, for those of you who are like super eager and just know you're computer savvy and you're cute as a bug's ear, we want you. <laughs> and how do you do it? You just shoot an email to glynis at numberslady.com, G-L-Y-N-I-S at numberslady, just like it sounds, numberslady.com. And what I'm going to do is grab that banner that we grabbed, Vanessa, that has the email. I'll have that going the whole time because you just go to the website and contact information and Vanessa will be checking. All right. So we'll do that. And then I want to say one more thing. Yes. Please check your email, right? So you've got also have to have that email ready. So if I did send you an email, it's going to have a link. And then that's how you're going to get on. And then you're going to be in a waiting room and then we're going to pull you in. That's right. When it mm -hmm. is time. Okay, so yes. Vanessa, thanks for all that information. We'll pop her up for now. And I will talk to you about a couple of things. You know, the first thing I want to say is this month of August has been, I would say, tumultuous, to say the least. I mean, don't forget, it started with the assassination of the number two in command for what happened on 9-11. That's how the month began. And then we're hearing about an assass another assassination of a young woman out of Russia, and they're claiming Ukraine did it. We don't know if that's true or not. But the point is, we're dealing with that kind of energy. And for those of you that are sensitive, you're feeling it. So what I'd like to know in comments right now, how many of you feel like just easy to anger or defensive or, you know, up in debate or somebody betrayed you this month where you, someone you cared about and all of a sudden they're, they're just not who they turned out to be. <laughs> I just saw my mother in the corner raise her hand, which is cute. Actually, my mother had her big bash this month. And if you follow me on Facebook, you should have seen it. We made a fuss about her, uh, her big 90. And she's just, she's beautiful. She's smart. She helps with the writing. When I do the news newsletter, she's a part of that. My best-selling book, she edited them. So Gwen McCants is a rock star. And if you want to do a shout out to her, you should. Because I would not exist without her, neither would Vanessa. All right. But I, I do want to know how you're feeling emotionally. How much has this energy toyed with you? I just feel like it's been pretty strong. All right. And I'm looking at people, a gal named Renee, uh, Keith. I can't say that word. Uh, it says requiem. But these people are all saying, yes, oh, my gosh, I've been up against it, right? Yeah. And this month was also my birthday month. And, uh, you know, because we had a reunion for my mother, my sister, Monica, came out. And I have a brother that's born the same day as Monica. They're four years apart. So it was just as much as there was celebration, there was also a lot of difficulty, right? And I, I know it's energy. So I'm just reminding you, when this happens, you just have to focus on something that's good for you, right? So one of the things I wrote, in the newsletter was about a positive prosperity affirmation because yes it's true the number eight in its purity people when it comes to the purity of eight it's about prosperity okay now the shadow side is meaning you can make a lot of money suddenly you get greedy and you spend it and it's gone so we don't want you to do that but i'm going to give you one of the affirmations that i wrote for the newsletter write it down and i suggest you certainly do it for the rest of the month you should do it daily anyway, but definitely for the rest of the month, okay? 
Here are the words. I attract abundance wherever I go and the universe supports me completely. I attract abundance wherever I go and the universe supports me completely. And Vanessa can write that down just so you see it. Again, I attract abundance wherever I go and the universe supports me completely. So if you're freaking out about money, that's a great affirmation, 15 minutes a day. If you're suddenly unemployed and you need a new job, you should be doing that out loud every day. And I mean, this is what I tell people. They're like, well, I feel like I do the affirmations, but I kind of burn out or I get distracted. You know what I do when that happens? I say it louder, okay? I say it louder because that makes the difference. So again, I'm going to repeat this. For 30 seconds right now, you can say it with me, those who wrote it down, and just listen and get yourself in that same zone. Ready? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I turned it upside down because it's an eight. Okay. I attract abundance wherever I go, and the universe supports me completely. I attract abundance wherever I go, and the universe supports me completely. I attract abundance wherever I go. And the universe supports me completely. You should say it out loud with me right now. Get into that rhythm. I attract abundance wherever I go. And the universe supports me completely. I attract abundance wherever I go. And the universe supports me completely. I attract abundance wherever I go. And the universe supports me completely. When you do that and you say it again and again for 15 minutes, you will get results. And I did read some wonderful messages today on Facebook where they said, oh my gosh, goodness, I've been doing the prosperity affirmation you suggested and doors are opening. Right, and one guy who's an investor, he says, you cannot believe the money I just made this month. And I was doing your affirmation. So of course it makes me happy. And I love to hear the positive feedback, but it also is a distraction. Like I said, if you're feeling down, frustrated, your life's not working, why not focus on abundance, right? So here's another one. Uh, this one is kind of a blend of Louise L. Hay. You should know her if you don't have her book. She was the most phenomenal woman, but she wrote, You Can Heal Your Life, Louise Hay. Uh, this is a blend of her affirmation, but also my mother. So I'm giving you a blended affirmation. Here we go. This is about your health. If you're freaking out about your health. And before I say the affirmation, I know a lot of you are. You know, I'm hearing about the health issues. Uh, it's amazing that what we don't deal with mentally does attack us physically. And some of you just feel bad, whether it's the leg, you know, your foot's not working, like you can't walk properly or your back's out uh, or migraines, lots of migraines happening. Okay, ready? I breathe fully, excuse me. I breathe freely and fully. I trust the process of life. I am healed. I breathe freely and fully. I trust the process of life and I am healed. So boy, you know, breathing's everything. We'll talk about that in a second. Again, write this down. If you're having health issues or if you know someone who is, pass it on to them. I breathe freely and fully. I trust the process of life. I am healed. I breathe freely and fully. I trust the process of life and I am healed. Yeah, breathing is remarkable. I find uh, many of us are shallow breathers. You know, when we get stressed out, it's all right there in our neck. Uh, you know, it's not in the chest. You know, excuse me, it is in the chest. It shouldn't be. It needs to be coming from your core when you breathe. So if you are stressed out out there, you know, it's just you're overwhelmed, whether it's family, it's your business, whatever it is that doesn't, isn't working. And remember that number eight, when you trace it, it goes round and round. So you might feel a little nuts. Well, if that's how you're feeling, do the breathing, deep breathing. You can, you know, lay down for a moment or just sit in your chair and just breathe in and out slowly. You know, you can breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth, but just as long as you can, the longer you make it, the better. All right. That is key. And I am definitely suggesting that will help you feel better. And this month's not over. Keep that in mind. Look, there's a lot of good things that have happened this month too, by the way. And I plan on laying that all out in my September newsletter because we need to embrace the good news. 
there is a lot of good news. All right. <laughs> I'm seeing my my mother makes me laugh because she's a powerful energy. She, she just got up yesterday. Uh, I just said you can't because of the dog. Remember last time? Can't do that. Got to hang out because last time the dog went berserk. Yeah, can't leave the room. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to bring Vanessa in to talk about that. You catch what's going on there, Vanessa? Uh -huh. Vanessa, did you catch that with mother? Uh -huh. <laughs> she thought she'd just leave the room. And you know what would happen when she leaves the room? The dog will bark. And when the dog barks, she won't hear me. I don't right. want to repeat that. So right. here I so am. The, the funny thing is, is I literally had said to you, hey, can you hear me? Because I was trying to say to you, remind mom about the dog. <laughs> Yeah, well, she was trying to mosey out of the room. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. And since uh, she's your mama too, I, I think you'd understand it. never been grand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so beautiful. All right. So you are you getting some notes in there? Because I'm going to start doing the live reads here inside uh, the questions here. Like, listen, if you have a question, lay out your question. Like Vanessa said, give your full date of birth. Because I'm going to go through the list of people submitting on the chat right now, like posting, but then I do want Vanessa to look into a couple people for today. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. Thanks. And once you have one, you'll just send them in. in you'll see them. They're going to pop in. Thanks, Vanessa. I appreciate yeah, it. So, Anytime, yeah, stay on top Anytime. of mother. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get out of yeah. the room. I'm telling you. But the two Leos you know, and a Libra. Yikes. What Yikes. are we saying? Astrology? Stick to those Yikes. numbers, baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Popping up. All right. Okay. Let's see. So I've got some. I know um, many of you emailed yesterday, and that's why she's going through them. I know. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay. So I see a lot of comments, not as many birthdays. I'm sure the birthdays are going to start coming through more. Um, you know, it just doesn't work that way. I see a gal named Pebble. She's asking me, what do I see in career? It's not like that. I got to tell you, I have been incredibly blessed to help people find the right career for them and that they were successful. However, because I'm a numerologist, you need to give me like three different ideas that you have, three things you've considered. And then I look at your numbers and I tell you the best way to go by the numbers. That is what I do. So you got to make sure you do that, okay? And by the way, if you're enjoying this, please make sure you subscribe. You should also hit that notification bell so you know when we're on air because these are set up to help you in the moment, all right? But yeah, keep that in mind, and then I'll come on down and see what I got. Oh, uh, Okay, well, let's talk about Let's see if I can pull that one. I'm going to grab... Let's see. I'll go ahead and do it just like this. I believe this is this little sweetheart that I know. Okay, this guy is wonderful. And we met, uh, he was a waiter, but he does stand-up comedy in Austin. So if you're in Austin, Texas, you want to catch his act, uh, God bless you should say where he's performing so you can catch him. But anyway, he's wonderful, heart of gold. So his question is about sobriety. And he's saying, well, I stay on that path. Well, he's born on a seven day. He's got a one attitude and his life path is a five. Yeah. So let's confirm that, you know, Dodd, those are the numbers that have to be really careful not to escape. You know, they are the ones who automatically can fall into alcohol and drugs because their mind is so strong and they're just finding ways to escape their thoughts. It's like, I don't want to think anymore. So maybe I'll drink too much or maybe I'll pop some pills, but that never works. So I say this. You happen to be in a personal year cycle of seven, which is about God energy. It's about literally saying, let go and let God. So the more you stay on the spiritual track, I think sobriety is very much a part of that. So work on that part of you, you know, look for things that are more profound, you know, like nature should have such a profound effect on you when you're out there, the ocean, the mountains, the plants, the flowers, all of it speaks to you. So get more with nature and then the affirmations. Just saw me do one for money, prosperity, which would be great for you. The other one was for health. But if you do that one for prosperity, Dodd, it'll open up more doors for you to make money and be successful in your chosen field. And I already know 
you have such a strong mind, you might get a kick out of this. The numbers 157 are considered mind numbers. Miley Cyrus also is the 157. She's got that. And, and it's, there's many famous people as I go through running numbers along the way that end up having 157 and it's not uncommon for them to deal with issues of escaping in an unhealthy way and then finding the way back. So in answer to the question, yeah, you can stay on top of sobriety's path, but it's going to be about spiritual. It's about you. It's almost like saying finding a base of faith that you can believe in. Once you do that, you've got it made. All right. But thank you. And like I said, guys, Dodd's amazing. So if he wants to tell you where he's performing, go see him. Austin, Texas. Okay, thank you for that question. Let's, um, the, if you guys write a novel, that's a little tricky too, because I'm going to pull it up. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just click on this one, see what we got. I haven't had that itch in my nose in the longest time. All right, 7 8 1952. I'm having a hard time getting rid of 95% of my belongings so I can buy my parents' house. Well, Cheryl, I mean, I don't know anyone. <laughs> I don't know anyone who could get rid of 95% of their belongings. That would be hard for anyone. Have you considered, though, like maybe running some storage space for like those things you don't want to give up, things that really matter to you? Maybe you'll put it in there temporarily. That's a, that's a thought. Now you're born on an eight day. You have a six attitude. So six, hold on, six, seven, 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 five. So you got a five. Okay, Cheryl, with that eight, five energy, when you say you're going to, you're going to buy their house, how small is the house that you have to give up 95% of your stuff? Hmm. Okay. When I see your numbers, you, you're born on an eight day means you have a love of quality. Like when you things that are beautiful, I think of blingy stuff, right? Things that sparkle. I think that would matter to you. And because you also have a five, it means when you're at a party or celebrating, you have the best time. And the other thing about a five, you need space. So I'm amazed you have so much stuff. How big was this property before? Because I promise you, throwing things out is a good idea for you. The more space you have, the more you can think clearly and it puts you in a good mood. It makes you feel better. And then I'd suggest... You know, there are people who are willing to assist you that are not overpriced. I'm not sure which place you'd look. Maybe Vanessa knows better than I. I always think of Craigslist, but you never know. But someone who could just help you get more organized and help you throw some stuff out and then the rest put in storage. That's what I say. And as for the house, I don't know if you, do you have the money to buy the house? Do your affirmations to make sure you have plenty of money to buy that house. All right. And maybe enough money where you could make it a little bigger right? Add on something to that house. That's a great idea. All right. Thanks for the question, Cheryl. What else about you? One quick thing. You're in a personal year of three right now, and three is not a bad time to make a move. So I'm glad that's that's not going to get in your way. All right. Thank you. Uh, I may as well pop in and take a look at Linda. Well, I meet my soulmate, 531-1956 this year. Huh. Let me see something. You happen to be a three life path, born on a four day. You're in a personal year of six. Six is a great time to be proactive in what you want. But what are you doing to make it happen, Linda? And soulmates, what people don't understand, there are all kinds of soulmates for you. Okay. They're not all ideal. I mean, you could have a soulmate connection where you're like, ooh, this was tough, but I'll never go through it again. And then you could have that magical soulmate that you're so blessed to have found. So if you don't have it yet, get Love by the Numbers, my book. That book would be amazing for you to help you find healthy love or affirmations to attract healthy love. That's also great. We've had over 6,000 people find love and get married, which of course, when someone gets married, I may as well be getting married. I get so happy for them. Okay. So that's my answer to your question. It's a good year to be proactive. Start doing the affirmations daily, 15 minutes and focus on love. And then, yeah, why not? Why not in the cycle of six when it's so compatible to you? So thanks for your question. All right, I'm popping that away. Vanessa does have somebody on board and I'm gonna trust that it's a good person. I'll pull Vanessa in to tell me a little more before we do it. 
Well, here's what I can tell you. I feel like I'm like, hey, Bob, this is what I can tell yeah. you behind curtain number two. We've yeah. got Keith Fletcher. So <laughs> yes. Keith is a huge fan of yours, Glennis. He's at every single one of your live showings, every one of them. He comments the entire time. He's incredibly supportive and he really wants to be on live. And I thought, well, this should be a person that Glennis gets to chat with and, and change what's the his question? life. Changes life, Glennis. Oh, good. Well, we'll talk about that. But what's his question today? Do you know? I don't. <laughs> That's the beauty of her, Keith. You really did score with Vanessa at the helm. I did. You did. I'm popping a bit. <laughs> I'm popping out, Vanessa. Are you lucky, Keith? She's like, I have no idea. Because that, that was your assignment. How are you? I'm good, hon. How are you? Great. So tell us your story. Well, I've been following you now for about two years. And my oh. question is, is I'm actually in the field of love and trying to find a partner for that love. So okay. I'm kind of trying to see with my numbers, what I should look for. Okay. So give me your full date of birth. 6-21-1983. 6-21-1983. So you are born on a three day. You got your nine attitude. You got your double three. Now, you know, because you're following me, that I am double three. So I'd be the first to tell you, you're really good about love. You know, you're a romantic and you're a giver. And you know, it's really common for you. Like if you're in a relationship, you love to surprise them, you know, and bring them some joy. Now, one of the blocks you might have would be the nine attitude. Tell me about like mom and dad and growing up. Like where, were you, where did you not feel supported? Where did you not feel supported? Be dad's side. Yeah. Okay. So do you have a date of birth for that energy? So that would help me. Uh, my father is one, one, six, 1956. Okay. It's born on six days, seven attitude. Okay. Now there's duality here because he's born on a six day. And let me confirm this. Yeah. He's a one life path. That means what you see is not what you get. And whereas with you, Keith, you're a straight shooter. It's like, this is how I feel. This is what I believe. Plus he has a seven attitude, which means emotionally he could shut down and make you feel alone. Like, do I matter? How true is that for you? Oh, very true. And I actually can give you my mom's date of birth, which is six, yes. five, 1950, not 50. My father's 56. My father's 59. <laughs> okay. So say your mom's birthday again, six, five, 59, six, five, 59. And are they still together? Yes, they are. Okay, so two, three, eight. Wow. Okay. Well, they may be together. That doesn't make them compatible. So here's <laughs> anyone can stay with anyone. But here's what I would tell you you made a note of what they have, and you know for a fact that's not what you want. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Uh huh. So they, it's almost like saying they have different motivations of why they're together, like what your mom might even could be about security, but also she has a little bit of drama in her. Uh, if life's not going smoothly, I almost want to say there are times she can be a bit of a martyr. You know, when life, it, it's hard for her to realize what part she played in it. So Keith, when I teach people, I'm like, when there's a problem, stop and go, okay, what part did I play in it? So that you get your power back. Sometimes she acts like it's happening to her. So this energy, like I said, they've, they've helped you know, that's not what I want. Uh, but what you do want, let's keep it simple. Three, six, nine, two are numbers that approve of you. So when you meet energy, like especially the two, they're very obvious with their ability to love, but you also want strength. You have to admire that person. So that number six, they can uh, run the show. You know what I mean? They're very capable. Like they manage. If you meet someone as a six, what do you do? Oh, I own my own business. Yay. You want that. So you need to get your head ready for healthy love. When was your last relationship? Oh God, a long time ago. Right? And so my point is to open ourselves back up to the idea of love, you got to do the work, you know? And what did I say? You're in a cycle of six. This is the perfect year to be proactive. Like I would say these next two months, September, October, uh, let's see, August for the rest of this month and all of September, do your daily affirmations for love. And then be proactive for that final quarter, October, November, December. You could make something happen. I believe that. But it's about getting yourself ready. And the other thing I offer to my clients, you can go to numbersteady.com. I always have that promo discount that is love numbers. 
so that mm -hmm. you're only giving you like paying $16.95 to see if it's worthwhile. And because you are one of our regulars, and of course I do see your name on there, just shoot an email, say, Glynis, is this good for me? <laughs> you know, just yes or no. And I promise I'll just look at the email, take a look at the chart that you ordered and say, yes, this is worth pursuing or no, move on, move on. Okay. But that's what awesome. I say. Thank yeah. you. And the last thing I do want to say is I want to say hi to Vanessa. And the other thing is about two years ago, you told me to follow my path of being a spiritual leader. And I am pursuing that very much. So as of right now, Oh, I'm so glad. Well, everything around you looks like it's spiritual stuff, right? Is that oh, a dream yes. catcher? Is that a dream catcher behind you? I have three behind me to five behind me. <laughs> and don't you have dreams that are bizarre? You've had dreams, right? That have been ridiculous. Like you were in them and you felt like you were in a movie, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yep. That's coming from your double three. I'm going to pop Vanessa in so you can say hi to her. Vanessa, how would I do, you? sis? How would I do? You're ridiculous. <laughs> and we love Keith. He's the cutest. Well, yes. it was it was the threes. I mean, Clintus. Right. <laughs> Too easy. Well, thank you, Vimanessa. I really of appreciate course, you guys. Keith, Keith thank and you, you so Keith, much I'm for really your time. Glad you're using your natural gift because you are naturally psychic. But the other thing about you with your nine, when you change people's lives, it makes you so happy. So you're on the right path. Congratulations. Give them a hand, Benny. Yay. Thank you, everybody. Yay. Yay. Thank you for sharing. All right, thank well, you. Thank have you. a wonderful night, guys. Thank you. He was what great. A cute All right. <laughs> Benny, go fishing again. And I'll Wait a second. Before, before I go, go, before I go, All right. doesn't Glennis look radiant, you guys? Like, did you Benny. notice when she opens her eyes how bright blue they are? And she just looks really beautiful, doesn't she? What? Okay, it's I think true. she's going I after me. It. I Listen, it. I'll know my sister. I think she probably got the TV. The TV you've been looking for. She's going to say, oh, no, that was nothing. By the way, I found that television. She knows. I will spoil her. She's not stupid. But I mean, okay, we can do astrology there. It comes to I'm movie, telling you, you, I literally was, while you were talking to Keith, I'm like, wow, Glennis looks really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to this, Vanessa, about the Leo. When mother would get angry, mother born August 6th, if she would be furious and you'd say, oh my God, your hair looks so good. It does. Like she'd be like, and I mean it, I'm coming in with a belt. Well, mom, your hair looks great. It does. Wait, just I, okay, but okay. may I tell my favorite John McCann story? Yes. Okay, so our dad, you know, milita ex-military, just bigger than life and everything. And Glennis had a potty mouth while we were growing up. I don't and, think so. And our dad said, nobody need, can cuss anymore, blah, blah, blah. And Glennis dropped, you know, one of the F-bombs or whatever. And all of a sudden we hear dad coming down the stairs and we're like, oh my gosh, you know, like we're in so much trouble. And dad comes down the stairs and he goes, who did that? And Glennis like, I don't know. And he comes up to her and goes, how old do you think? I am. And she goes, I don't know, 46, 47. He goes, hey, hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> yes. Oh, now this I will say one story with Vanessa regarding my father. Oh. <laughs> the jokes. Okay, now being double three, and Keith can relate to this, the three is the natural comedian. If you have a three in your chart, everyone listening, you are naturally looking for the punchline. So, of course, I was a joker. But I was at the table and I said something very funny. Well, the whole room was laughing, family of 13, mind you. And I was laughing too. And my dad said, Glynis, you can't laugh at your own jokes. And Vanessa <laughs> said, oh, but dad, that's not fair. It's the first time she's ever heard them. <laughs> my favorite thing she ever said. <laughs> Thank you, Benny. Popping her out. Let's continue. So you're listening to Glynis McCants, website numberslady.com. We're doing some live spontaneous readings. You can shoot an email to glynis, G-L-Y-N-I-S, at numberslady.com. And Vanessa will see if you're perfect for this, and she'll pop you through. But we're also answering questions right here, where you post, give me your date of birth, and you've seen me do some of them so far, and we will continue. All right? And if you're enjoying this, be sure to subscribe to this channel, Glynis McCants, my channel. Interesting, right now it is... YouTube, youtube.com slash guinea girl, G-I-N-I-G-I-R-L, 
because it's it sounds weird, right? I R L three six nine. That was my nickname as a kid. That's where it came from. But I'm gonna see if I can get it to say Glennis McCants without messing with the channel. But you're here right now. Take advantage of that and always click that notification bell so that you know when we're here. All right. All right. Uh, let's try this one. I have no idea. Donna has a question. Why do so many people think they need their soulmate? I'm 72, so no longer interested. It never works out for me, sorry to say. You know, Donna, I'm a girl who's convinced. I think they say the planet now has 8 billion people. I remember it was 7 billion, but I swear I think it's now 8. Imagine that we're on a planet with 8 billion people, yet each one of us can't meet at least one person who thinks the world of us. That's why, Donna, um, when they think soulmate, what they're really saying is, can I find someone to share my life with? Now, what this tells me about you, Donna, since I don't have your birth date, you've got the O in Donna, which is the number six. It means you're very capable. You know, you, you get things done. You know, take care of the bills. Take care of your home. If you had kids, take care of that family. So you're very responsible. And that the idea of having to count on someone else or being vulnerable to someone else doesn't make you as comfortable. And yet I'll bet money behind all that. You're like, well, of course I'd share my life. If I met a kind person, someone who was loving, who got my sense of humor, who wanted to maybe catch a movie or have a bite to eat, you'd love it. So that's the answer to the question. We have a planet with tons of people. Now, the bigger question is, why do so many people not have love? Why do so many people, have they not been able to find a partner? And I'm telling you, that goes back to the way our mind is. You know, what we believe is what we manifest. And that's why I created Love by the Numbers, the book, but also the affirmations just to heal your head. And with Keith, you know, looking at his parents' numbers, those were not ideal. They're still together. That doesn't make it great. And he wants great love. So if you want to be proactive, Donna, that's the way to go. Start, you know, you if you go to my Facebook, numbersedit.com, but click on the Facebook. I have a bunch of videos with love affirmations in there as well. All right. But thank you. Thank you for your question. And I hope you find someone where you know how you love you, like you're fine by yourself. I say that in energy. I hope you find someone who mirrors the best part of who you are and that you're just happy. Happy that you came upon this person. Because I also say in your chart, you like good conversation. And talking to yourself is not always ideal. <laughs> Even if we do it, we want to share it with someone else too. So they, that's the answer to your question. All right. Well, I've got a birthday here. Oh, this is a fun one. Ready? Maria. And I always have to do it. Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. I could do better if Vanessa helped warm up my voice. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Vanessa fell to the ground. This is not good. I got to pull her in. Come on, Vanessa. Vanessa, you're on no. camera. No. No. You don't yes. know. <laughs> Come on. You're, you're cruel is what you are. Now sing it. Can you do it? <clears throat> you got a voice. You're probably what were you singing? Was it? Mommy it was makes Maria. me match my M and M's. Mm. <laughs> warm it up. Come on, Maria. No, no. I just no. had a girl named Maria. Come on, Vanessa. I didn't do my warm up, Vanessa. Uh, she's afraid to do it. It's well, Maria <laughs> must be laughing by now, right? <laughs> I saw Vanessa. On the floor. It was not a good sign. Oh, before you go, um, I did send an invite to uh, Sherry Cooper. Sherry, if you're on here, you got to check your email. If I don't hear from you within the minute, I will be moving on to the next You'll person. Talk to someone else. Sherry Thank Cooper. You, Sherry Cooper. All right, Maria. I'm sure you are laughing by now. But let me tell you, I had just sent out a newsletter this week where I talked about repeating numbers and what they mean. So Maria, you say you keep seeing 333 all over the place. What does that mean? 333. You know, it's considered spiritual, but it's a message to you. And it's about like, I don't know what you do for work, but it means you have the ability to help other people, like a natural counselor, or maybe you feel called to write, something that brings more joy into the world. If you're seeing 333, it's telling you, yes, that's the way to go. You know, if you've been too quiet or too within yourself, the 333 invites you to speak up again. It's like, are you communicating what you feel? 
Are you keeping your sense of humor? Are you finding ways to laugh and play? So if you're seeing it, it's a good sign. I just hope you're using it in your work. And by all means, post and tell us what you do for work and give us a date of birth since you didn't do that either. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm grabbing someone spontaneously. Uh, all right. Ha, huh, that's a good one. Good question, Linda. Linda's birthday, 514-1950. Will my podcast be a success? All right, so she's born on a five day. She's got the one. Wow, are we dealing with this again? Listen to this. Her month and days are one. Her whole birthday is a seven. And she's born on five days. So remember Keith Fletcher? Keith, you should recognize this. She's got all those mind numbers. One, five, seven. Not Keith. It was actually Dodd, <laughs> right? Dodd bless you. Is that what he called himself? But either way, he had the 157. And what those are, Linda, they're mind numbers. I mean, you, you're a human popcorn machine. You have a thousand ideas going at all times. So you got to calm it all down. You are in a personal year of seven. And because you're a seven life path, it's a good time to communicate what you feel. But when it comes to success, the only way I make a promise on that is affirming. Because the mind is strong and you've got such a powerful mind with those three mind numbers that whatever you focus on is what you are going to make happen. So I'd be doing affirmations of, about the success of your podcast. Okay. You know, I do these audio files. These are only $16.95, but they're personalized. You'd have to shoot an email to Vanessa and just say, I want one about my podcast, like how to get my mind right about my podcast. And then it's emailed to you because it's an audio file. All right. That's my suggestion to you. But otherwise, you already heard what I said. You're in a great cycle for it. You need to get very spiritual about it and realize, look, I'm doing this to help people. It goes back to, I love my audience and my audience loves me. By the way, that's a great, that's a great affirmation for you since you're dealing with communication. I love my audience and my audience loves me. I love my audience and my audience loves me. Because why are you doing it? Why are you doing it, Linda? Aren't you doing a podcast because you're trying, first of all, you feel called to help people, but you also would love the love. Like I'd love them to love my podcast and I care for them too. All right. So that's, that's a really good one for you. And if there, anything else more personal, you'd have to shoot it to Vanessa. Thank you for your question. So um, again, Vanessa, you might pull somebody else since we haven't heard from your, the gal that you were suggesting. Here, let's pop Vanessa up in. Go I'm ahead, waiting on the person on. right now that I sent a, sent an email to. Right. Uh, so, all right, right, so here's the thing, guys. When we do this, you got to get right back to us. I mean, we're assuming since you're watching the show that you're going to pay attention, that we're it's time for us to get you on. Otherwise, we certainly continue answering questions, which is great. Well, I do want to tell you the irony of the person who didn't get the person that didn't get back to us, her question was about manifesting. <laughs> Here she manifested, that. She right? She manifested to get on. She got on and then she didn't check her email. So she didn't get on. But, but so okay, she, so let's talk about that. And what was her name? It was, please, just give us a first name. What? Sherry. All right, so Sherry. let's talk about that. Thank you. So let's talk about that. Here we have a gal, her first name, Sherry. So Sherry wants to make this happen, right? She's asking a question to change her life for the better. She sends in her email. Vanessa says she got to get right back to us, but now she's missing. And so isn't that something? Because that's like saying sometimes the universe will give it to you. It's right in your face, but you ignore it or you missed it. You're looking to the left when you should have been looking to the right. So that's just be aware of that, right? Because, you know, if I could make people's lives be what they want it to be, if I could just click my fingers, I would do it, but I can't, I can give you the tools to help you have that great life you deserve. Okay. So we'll see if she ever ends up coming back, but for now, I'm going to continue with my wonderful people. All right. Um, one second here. Gianna. All right. So it says hi G and V. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming that's Glennis and Vanessa. Date of birth, we bought a new house, address blank. What does that mean? Okay, let's see. 
Let me see. So she's born a master number. She's got the three attitude and ultimately a seven life path. And she's in a house of three. Thinking what I would do. I mean, I like the fact that you have a three in your birth date because by having that three energy and then you're living in a house of three, but I have to hold my position when it comes to the fact that you're a seven and that double six, although it becomes a three and you have a three inch chart, six, still the six, six can sometimes make you feel a little confused when you're processing what it is you want or what it is you want to do next. So I would still alter it a little bit. And what do you do? You just put a number on the inside of the door. So if it's a house of three, you could literally put the number one. Would I want to put the number? Yeah, I guess I would do that. Sure, why not? House of four. You would put the one on the inside of the door. All it would do is make the house this solid space. You know, it's like a, a safe place to be. It's your solid home. When you come home, it could be a house of study, getting things done, building security, all of that good stuff. And that's what I would suggest you do. Yeah. Breaking down just 660, even if I define it, ultimately what matters more is what it really breaks down to. Now, the three itself won't go away. It promotes laughter, communication. It's playful. So the, all of that's in the house. And that makes me happy for you, especially because you have a three attitude. But by the same token, I would still want you to have that ultimate energy that is solidly compatible to your numerology. Okay? That's the answer to your question, Jenna. And people ask me, do you do live sessions, Glennis? Yes, I do. You'd have to go to glennisatnumberslady.com. Vanessa will send you a list of the reads that I offer. And obviously, as you can see on the banner, numberslady.com, click there and then just go contact us and she'll, she'll get that to you. All right? Thank you, Jenna. Well, here we go. Oh, I should do one more thing. Sorry. I'm pulling an essay and I got to get the sh the lowdown. What do you got there, Vanny? So Renee is looking for love. She has a, a person who's very interested in her. And um, it's a little bit of a complicated story, but it sounds like a fun story for Glennis to untangle. <laughs> All right. Let's pop in. And her name's Renee. Yeah. All right, Renee. Uh-oh. Pop and Betty up. We can see Renee. You got to get in the chat. Hi, Renee. What's the date of birth? My date of birth is 1-23-48. And then this potential person. He is 7-26-1940. All right. Wait one sec. 7-26-1940. 1940. Born on an eight day. Six, Seven, two, and then you, six, seven, one. Where did you meet or have you known each other for a while? Friends for 52 years. He lost his wife in January. So we've been longtime friends way back to have raising kids together. Yeah. In Oregon, in another town. And so yeah. just kind of visited this summer and had other two other friends that died also from the same town that in the last five months. So we've all been together several times. And he's super interested in pursuing, and I'm heading to Belgium to visit my daughter. And so Okay, well, let me tell you. Uh, one thing you need to know, he thinks you're attractive. He thinks you're pretty, and I'll tell you why I say that. Because he's born on an eight day, and they love when someone makes the effort. Like, if there's a smile or a warmth in their eyes. And plus, he's a life path, too, which means he really likes relationships. He likes the idea of having a partner. Exactly. In your case... You're more of a road runner, you know, <laughs> you are. If someone comes on too strong, yikes, it's not comfortable. You have to feel that, you know, it's your decision, you know, when you, whatever you do with your life. So even the fact that you're leaving, how long are you going to be gone? Pro at least six weeks, probably going to house sit oh. for my daughter. So Okay. Now on paper, your attitude number is identical. It's a six, which means family is important to both of you. Like you share that you have that in common, which is great. Right. Your life path, which is the most important number, you're a one, he's a two. Well, the two be is a very supportive energy, and I think you always welcome that. That part should be good for you. Uh, he's been through a lot, though, and there's uh, emotional stuff. Like, has he processed all of it? Is it tell me about the grieving for him. Well, you know? he feels like he's been grieving for a while now. His wife's been off, on and off sick for about the last four years, five years. And so... Right. We right, so he has some lot. time. 
Yeah, we've talked well, a lot. We've talked to family. He's he's a super, he's very extrovert and has a lot of friends, a lot of uh, involvement in church, etc. And so it's, you know, in that way, it's like, oh my gosh, he's so busy with other, helping other people all the time. And so I said, well, maybe that's good. He can go do his I'll thing. I'll tell you why it's good for you. Thing. You need your freedom. You, if right. you feel controlled, if someone's trying to control you every move, you won't last anyway. You'd, you'd run for the hills. Right, so the fact that he has a life, I see that as a really good sign. But I'm going to suggest, because right now I'm doing the fast food of you. You know that. I'm not right. doing first and last name. Right. I'm not looking at the birth certificate name. Right. But I'm telling you, just from the birth date, which is the most sa sacred, there's a lot of good here. Yeah. Like I personally would encourage you to explore it. Well, that's what we're talking about. So it's like, yeah, just a little scary on my end. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You know, I, I just think he's been a good man forever. Yes. Like he, yeah. He's not going to become something for you. Right. He's not going to fake him. He's not right. going to suddenly fake to be a good guy and then he's turn out to be horrible. Open. Super open. Yeah. 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 He's sincere. But again, it has to be your decision when you're ready. Right. And that and that busyness, I think, is going to help you as a couple right. because you're going to be like, look, I'm off doing my thing and he won't take it personally. That's yeah. the key. Yeah. So keep an eye on that. That's what I'm saying. If you choose to explore this, see what's there. But if you suddenly feel like he he's like, where are you? What time? Oh, yeah. You need to just gently say, look, I've known you forever, but I can't do that. Yeah. Like that part is not a part of you. And then, like I said to um, Keith Fletcher, Type love numbers in the promo code and really run a chart, you know. And yeah, I'll, I'll, we've, I've done all the numbers <laughs> a couple of weeks well, ago. What are they, Renee? What are they? Tell me. Well, they were all the numbers were. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't, don't have it. Yeah, front of me, we were six, your paper. We were all natural match on three and compatible on the other three. Well, but I'm seeing one that is a challenge, and it's the day you're born. So I just wonder how you did that. So, Aiden, uh, oh really? Okay. Well, so we did birthday. Right, because he's born the 23rd. And I'm a father. Or you are, and he's born the okay, 26th. Well, maybe I didn't. I'm just saying, the, the day that you're born, right. that part is challenging. Like, I I call it neutral in the book because it's one or the other. So well, that's why I said it was neutral. That's right. Right. Okay. It feels really good. Other times it doesn't. So okay. that part would be where the break it down and communication come in, could come in if you were really a couple. But I also say this, you'd learn from each other. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know we always wish we'd find someone who agreed with everything, right. but the saying is if we agree on everything, one of us is not necessary. Right. Kind of boring. <laughs> right? Yeah. And you, and by the way, you love to have fun. A yeah. never dull moment for you. The more well, he liked that. He liked that I kind of drew him out and got him excited about doing something he hasn't been doing for a long time. His wife see? was a little bit more quiet, and she was a journalist and a publisher, and so she was more. Yeah, but do you see how great that is? Like yeah, he's the yeah. He's about security, but yeah. he really likes you, and I'm loving yeah, that part. Yeah, like, well, he really. When he it. looks at you, you can see it in his eyes. Okay. So promise me this. I say give it a chance and then let me know. Please okay. shoot an email. I want to follow up on this, okay? Right. Okay, thanks. Thank you. All Thank right. You for coming by. I appreciate okay. it. Bye. Exciting. So I'm bringing Vanessa in. And <laughs> Renee. Woo! Oh. Okay, I, I maybe got someone someone the lottery while we were on a break. I, I don't, I never know what's going on with her. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I love the love yeah, story. She's a sweetheart. Yes, Renee is a yeah. good person, and Wonderful. I'm excited because it's true. They're bringing two very different things into the story. You know, with his, he's very solid, and and he really likes her. But I, what I love is that she's got a life, and she's like, "Well, we're doing this and that," and he's open to it. So there's real potential there, Vanessa, and that's why I want to hear about it later too. Well, Thank and you. I have to say, it all there's so many people on here that are asking about love, right? And so many yeah. people that ask about their career and is, is it too late? I say, if you're still breathing, it's not too late. No, and if you, you know, you can find that love, you can change that career, you can make an impact. We're all here to do something. So it's never too late. Get out there. No, it's not. Go, you know, it is not. rock your purpose, people. Rock your purpose. Right on. Thank you, Missy. I'm popping her out and I'm going to go through here. What do we got? Um, Huh. So that word, give me just a moment and we'll see what we got here. There's a lot of couple stuff, but that's tricky. Um, 
Give me just a moment. I'm scrolling up and around to see what I've got. Lots of you coming through, and I certainly appreciate that. Um, let's go with the when someone says, Are we good together? How interesting. Every time I want to pop there. Okay, ready? Regina. Okay, she's asking if she's good with Alfred. Now, remember, when I do these today, this is strictly me looking at the birth date, because there's three numbers there and they are the most revealing. However, the name numbers take a minute and I don't do that here. If you want to know more, always go to numberslady.com and order a numerology blueprint. So she's just, I'm going to keep it simple and answer the question of the actual birth date numbers. So she's born on a four, four day master number. He's born on a three day, nine, nine. This is how I would put it to you. Now, Regina, you're asking about Alfred. Alfred has master number 22, which is intense. You know, when something's on their mind, they go within. Uh, you know, they don't even want to talk. Sometimes they'll shut it down. You're like, what's going on with you? But then he also has a five attitude and a five life path. And I call that literally the moving fast, right? Road runner. Got to go, got to do. So, it's about keeping up with that kind of pace. You're an old soul. You are born with that nine life path and you've got the nine attitude. So your soul is old. And so with Alfred, even if you're the same age, not really, not when it comes to that. Here's what I'm going to ask you to caution yourself with. Do not become the counselor for Alfred. Don't fix his life. If something's wrong in his life, don't try to save him, which would be a natural thing for you to do. Born the 30th, it just means you always want to rescue or take care of and advise. You like to feel like you're making a difference to make someone's life better. But in a partnership, it's so important that you find an equal. So check him out for that. Um, see what's going on with Alfred. And then the other one, what about drinking? Any drinking? Any addicted to sometimes pain pills just or uh, traveling all the time? What's up with his life right now what about relationships because again your chart what you see is what you get his chart what you see is not always what you get all right so just be aware of that it's not i don't look at those three numbers and go oh perfection but remember regina to be fair if we did a full blueprint i could see all the numbers and find out what makes you feel attracted but the advice i just gave you is still sound and will help you figure it out all right so thank you for that. Thank you for that question. And now I'm wrapping up for now, but you got to remember, I do these live events for you. I actually have a really cool one coming up also next month. So to stay notified, click the notification bell and of course, subscribe. And I will catch you later. I'm numerologist Glennis McCants. Got to pull Vanessa in to thank her for, hey, Vanessa. Hey, Glennis. Thank you for helping us. And thank you, Benny for finding two really good people. And like next time we'll try to, we'll shoot for at least three. But again, it's a matter of them being available because it's one thing to submit that question. It's another to really be there, right? On that standby. Yes. But I do yes. say the right people always come through and I loved Absolutely. both of them. They were always. terrific. Yeah. Thanks so everybody. Thank you for being thank on you, the show. Bonus. Thanks, Vanessa. I appreciate it and take good care. And I'll see you soon, like in September, first week of September. I'll be back. All right.